Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, come here today to show you my e-bike build. Um, you know, uh, it's a nice bike that I built and everything, and I just want to show y'all what I did to it and how I made it um, to run decent and how much money I put into it. So, y'all want to check it out? Let's do it. So, here it is, y'all. This is it, 2022. It's a uh, Shren Axum DP. It has a dropper post. And let's go ahead and start with the uh, electronics. Um, I got the uh, the Sabaton 150 speed control, which actually looked pretty damn good on this bike. Um, down here is a 5,000 watt QS motor. It's a 3.5 turn. Uh, it's upside down, but you can see it right there. I also have the Event X. Uh, focus. Anyways, it's the Event X shifter right there with the clutch. And also I have the, uh, oh, the rail, I'm sorry. And the shifter right here. Oh, this is a six speed um, Shimano um, uh, gear set. So it's a free will. This motor, actually, it comes with a um, just a single speed. But let me tell you something. It was a bitch to get this um, free will in here. Um, Cause this, this motor is really not designed to have a uh, gear set. So this is a six speed instead of the eight speed actually come with the Shren, um, the Axum DP. Um, so I had to widen it up a little bit and I got a spacer in between here. So that way the dropout can fit on there. And um, it's working pretty decent. I mean, I need some gears. I can't do a uh, single speed cause I pedal too much. You know what I mean? I don't ride this bike on the road all the time. So. So I do most of my pedal and everything with it. So I need gears and everything. So anyways, for the braking, I have these uh, S-Tech Zoom uh, semi-hydraulic brakes with the floating rotors, 160 millimeters in back. And I have the 180 up front. So they stop real good. Um, here's my torque arms right here. You see I had made myself my torque on. I got one on this side and I got one on the other side it looks pretty crappy because I just got done with it but it's holding up pretty good and um, I got a uh, 52 volt halon battery I'm going to be upgrading that to a 60 volt not really caring about the 72 volt you know what I mean because I like the clean um, halon style look don't really care about the triangle so that's um going to be in the making and also for lighting i got the uh, olight uh tail light smart tail light right there in the back and also i have the rm 1500 can see. yeah there it is rm 1500 headlight got my cell phone holder and display got a nice seat for amazon pretty decent and i like the dropout post you know I like that because I can stand up and pedal, but that damn Sabaton, boy, it don't look decent though. I like that Sabaton 150, man. That it's a big one though. I I, I ain't know what I was gonna mount. I was planning on mounting it right here, but um, it went pretty decent inside the um, frame, and then the battery fits real good. And um, I'm gonna change out the shocks it's pretty soon, and um, probably gonna put some rock shocks up on there. It's decent, but. Um, don't want to, it bombs out too much and the tires, Jesus, let me tell you something. First thing you want to do is you want to get decent tires. These tires are real thin and I have put holes in these tires, just run over cactus and stuff. Cause I ride this off road a lot, run over cactus and stuff. And I didn't place like three or four tubes and it's done tire. I put, I got a slime. I got the slime 29 inch, um, so that's holding up pretty good. But um, just, I mean, top speed on this thing, I did do the top speed. It does 50 miles an hour, no lie, with the 52 volt system in here. And it is pretty fast. I already got pulled over already. So yeah, that's, that's, won't be doing that no more, riding on the highway like that. But anyways, 
yeah this is it though right just you know let me know if y'all want to do some riding time on it you know high speed runs or off-roading whatever you know what i'm saying let me know you know what i'm saying but this is it though the strain x from dp 2022 i got the Sabaton 150 speed control qs qs motor 5000 watt it does have regen on it or engine braking whatever you want to call it and yeah there she is y'all